A Cluttered Home, written by Sister Colleen Moore, narrated by Sister Roseanne Champagne. I have watched many episodes of the TV show Hoarders. Have you ever seen it before? If you haven't, it can be hard to watch at times. These people have homes full of clutter, garbage, and unimaginable amounts of both. Sometimes the piles are so big they are close to reaching the ceiling. There's a cleanup crew that comes, ready to help get rid of things and clean the home. A therapist is also there to help talk to these people about why their homes became such a mess. The homes are filthy. Some are full of animal waste, and the garbage has been sitting there for years. Almost every square inch of the home is so full of clutter that these people sleep in a tiny spot, surrounded by the mess. It truly breaks my heart. I have no doubt that some people are being lazy and just don't care, but the majority of these people have trauma that they went through in their life and never healed from it. This is one of the most common reasons why this happens. When these people have had the opportunity to talk to the therapist and are given the tools on how to heal and move forward from their past pain and trauma, something amazing happens. They see their homes clean now with no more clutter and garbage and it's like a huge weight has been lifted. Recently, while watching some episodes, I saw the show in a different light. It made me think about God, the devil, and our minds and hearts. When our mind is full of clutter, chaos, and worldly garbage, that doesn't come from God. The devil is working hard to fill us with things that will weigh us down, things that will make us feel like we are too deep in and can't get out, trapped. When these people see their nice clean homes for the first time, they look lighter, happier, joyful. They aren't surrounded by the darkness anymore. They can see the light. The same thing applies when our minds and hearts are kept clean. We strive to keep them free of chaos and worldly garbage. And when we have something that we need to heal from, God wants us to come to him. His word gives us the tools we need to heal, and he wants us to pray to him. He will always show us the light when we look for it. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51, 10.